exactly where they're going to be, but just how is life? Uh, uh, it's an opportunity. You know, a lot of guys, they got sent home, but, you know, I was still, I'm still up there working and getting better, and I'm just one play away. Um, I've gained respect of all my teammates over over my duration up there in Green Bay because they, they see my work ethic and they also see that I'm a talented player. And when the opportunity comes, I'm never going to look back. And I'm, I'm very confident in that, but I just love it there. I mean, it's great that we're winning, but, you know, from Aaron Rodgers to Donald Driver, Greg Jennings, and Coach McCarthy and Ted Thompson, they do a great job of really just developing us as a player and as men. How phenomenal is Aaron Rodgers? You know, you can watch him every day in practice on Sundays as well, too. Um, it's like surgery. Yeah. You know, he, he's just he's one of the best doctors in the world. I mean, he gets the ball in places defensive back you never can see. He's always in a blind spot. And people fail to realize that he takes a lot of pride in being a team player. Yeah. You know, he, he never wants the attention on him. It's always about the team. And um, as being a teammate, man, I love him to death because he's helped me become a better player over time. He's pulled me aside. I've been, been to his house. I've met with him at the stadium early in the morning just to, just to get the routes down and get the playbook down so I can have this opportunity to be there. I mean, what's your how tight knit the tight Green Bay community is up there? What's it like? They're totally consumed by the Packers and the, and the Falls. Is that the way it is? When yeah, we're, we're, the, we're, all, we're the biggest show in, in town, so uh, everyone embraces it. You know, it's the, it's the perfect time of the year. It's starting to get cold, but, you know, the fans, they will be out there. I mean, every morning when I show up about 5.30, there's always 15 to 20 fans to, you know, congratulate us when we're coming in for practice. So it, they're die hard, and you know we're just gonna go out there and do our part and continue to work hard, and hopefully we win all our games. Tori, certainly being a professional has its perks, uh, but I, we all know you've had kind of a long ride through, through school and stuff like that. What do you miss the most about college? The atmosphere. Uh, William Bryce on a Saturday or a Thursday night game, just looking in the student section and seeing the flags waving and, and smelling the barbecue and uh, everything on the grill is just something I miss a lot. And just miss my teammates. You know, we had a lot of great time hanging out in the dorm and as well as my apartment, just, just being college kids. And that's something I'll always remember. How much have you had chance have you had to follow their progress here? Um, I've watched almost every game and called out all the plays. You know, that's, that's how much of a Carolina fan I am. I, I still know the playbook. And um, me and my teammates up there in Green Bay, they're usually going against the opposite team. So when we were able to beat Kentucky and Mississippi State, I gave Rundle Cobb and Derek Sherrod a hard time. But um, Pat Lee, you know, he was a former Auburn player, and he's been busting my chops about it since we lost to Auburn. Must have been a couple pretty hard time because it was 54 to 3. Yeah, he, he was like, if he was there, you know, they would have beat us. And I was like, nah, well, if I still was there, I told him I had two years of eligibility left. So we just make a big joke out of it. Tori, did you have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder knowing that a lot of people said it was a mistake for you to leave early? Oh, yeah, because no matter what, people are always going to doubt you. No matter if I was a first-round pick or, or undrafted guy, you know, there's always doubters. But, you know, it's, it's an opportunity for me to go out there and get better and to work hard. And the times where I felt like I couldn't do it, I just think about, man, I, I've been through worse. This is nothing, you know, this is just football. And I was able to bounce back, and it's landed me a pretty good job. Anyone who sees the games on TV, um, I'll see Alshon, but anyone else otherwise you impressed you at all this year? Everyone. You yeah. know, yeah. everyone made plays. Uh, we had a kickoff return, I think, or a punt return. Yeah, yeah, yeah so punt. little things like that. I, I'm very impressed because we didn't have it in my tenure here at South Carolina. So just watching guys really uh, become great players, man, it's just it's a wonderful thing to watch.